Here we go again. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag wants to sign a striker in the summer transfer window. The Dutchman felt his goal-scoring options for this season should have been enough. But with seven games to play in the Premier League, United have just 45 goals, the fewest of the top 10 teams. Asked at a news conference how vital it will be to bring a proven scorer to Old Trafford this summer, Ten Hag said, I think it would help. Ideally, he wants more than one strong challenger for every role on the team. Ten Hag added, You need more options. You need double positioning in every position. Some positions we didn't have the choices this season, the striker position, the left-back position, and that has a negative impact on the results. United, who traveled to face Bournemouth on Saturday, signed Denmark forward Rasmus Hoyland from Atalanta for 70 C2 Mailers on a five-year deal last August. The 21-year-old is the club's top scorer in his debut campaign, with 13 goals in 34 appearances in all competitions. England striker Marcus Rashford has netted eight times in 38 games, while France international Anthony Martial, out since groin surgery in January, has scored twice in 19 appearances. In this plan we constructed we should have had enough goals, Ten Hag said. You count on goals from Rashford, last season he scored 30. You count on goals from Marshall. In my first season he played very well, and also in very important games he had a high impact on our performances. And then bringing a goal scorer like Rasmus Hojland in, it should have been enough goals. So, Ten Hag open to transfer ideas from new hierarchy. Provided he remains in charge, Ten Hag will be working within different parameters in the transfer market after Sir Jim Ratcliffe became minority owner at United in February, taking control of football operations. Ineos director of sport, Sir Dave Brailsford, is set to play a key role at Old Trafford. United have appointed Omar Barada as chief executive after he resigned as chief football operations officer at City Football Group, and he will begin work in the summer. This week, United announced John Murtaugh was stepping down as football director, and they are keen to bring in Newcastle sporting director Dan Ashworth. Southampton director of football Jason Wilcox has also been linked with a role at Old Trafford. Ten Hag said his past dealings in the transfer market for United have been good, but he is open to input from key personnel in United's new structure, provided they match his ideas. We are working in the background on plans with scouting, said the 54-year-old former Ajax head coach. We have good plans, I think also with quality players. You see now about recruitment. Andre Onana is doing very well, Rasmus Hoyland, everyone is seeing his big talent and potential. Lisandro Martinez, everyone was hugely happy with him, and there are others. So the recruitment is good, but if they, new directors have even better ideas, we are always open. If you have options but they come with better options, we are open. I trust the new ownership that they will work as quick as possible and bring new good structures and that they can execute. But we have a way we want to play, so we know our profiles, so it has to match the profiles we want. Again and again. Yesterday, Eric Ten Hag has supplied an update on his Manchester United squad plans for Saturday's Premier League game at Bournemouth. Johnny Evans and Raphael Varane had already been ruled out of the 1730 British summertime kickoff at the Vitality Stadium. The experienced pair are joined by fellow defenders Lisandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malasia, and Victor Lindelof on the sidelines. Striker Anthony Martial also remains out. Scott McTominay missed the 2-2 draw with Liverpool and seems unlikely to be fit in time, but fellow homegrown star Marcus Rashford has trained and may be available to feature. Scott? I don't think so, the manager said at his press conference when asked about McTominay's involvement. We have training, so we have a day, and he will push. He is so keen to be part of it tomorrow, but I think it is very questioning. And then Rashford. Rashi trained on Thursday, and we will see how he recovered from it today. We will have training again today, and then we will make a decision on it. Meanwhile, Manchester United defender Rafael Varane has shared his concerns about the demands that the football calendar is placing on players' health. Varane, 30, arrived at United as a four-time Champions League winner with Real Madrid and has also lifted the World Cup with France. Regarded as one of the world's best defenders during his time in Spain, the centre-back knows, 
what it takes to win some of football's most prestigious trophies. However, the United defender has only played 21 Ligue 1 games under Eric Ten Hag this season, making 30 appearances across all competitions. Varane has criticized the unrelenting demands of football, which he views as responsible for lowering the number of experienced players across the Premier League. The average age is falling, and experienced players able to talk about these subjects are disappearing, Varane told GQ. In the Premier League, there are fewer and fewer players over the age of 30. I am thinking of the younger generations and not putting them off high-level sport. The objective should not be to play until injured or out of shape and to always be saying to yourself, there is a match in three days. It's really totally different from playing a match every four to five days or playing every three days. The risk of injury is high and it's difficult to maintain the energy needed to give the fans the spectacle they pay for. Varane's contract at Old Trafford is set to expire at the end of the season. Now 30 years old himself, Varane has had a number of injuries to contend with this season already and is now set to be sidelined again for a number of weeks as he battles to save his Premier League career and earn a new deal with United. There are more and more competitions and this phenomenon is accelerating, he explained. On the one hand, this poses a long-term problem for the health and longevity of athletes. On the other hand, it could be harmful for the football industry and entertainment. Football is a profession of passion with an artistic side that I love. But, the artists who go on tour, whether they are musicians, actors or comedians, all say that it is exhausting, and some even take breaks of several years. International footballers are underwater all year round, and the summer of 2024 will be non-stop for those who go far in all competitions. If we want to defend football, preserve the high intensity of matches, and see the best players at their best, we must take care of them and simply make them play less, again and again. Man United sent Julian Nagelsmann update as inquiries hint, made amid Eric Ten Hag pressure. Germany manager Julian Nagelsmann has been linked with the Manchester United job amid pressure on current boss Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford. Germany's national team director Rudi Voller has revealed that a decision will be made on the future of manager Julian Nagelsmann in the next few weeks amid links with Manchester United. Current United boss Eric Ten Hag has come under increased pressure at Old Trafford amid a disappointing campaign which has seen the Red Devils spend much of the season in sixth. United also crashed out of the Champions League group stages, finishing bottom and looking unlikely to make a return next season. Men's Sport understands that there are currently no plans to replace Ten Hag, but new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe remains unconvinced by the Dutchman. United are 11 points off the top five, although they do remain in contention to win the FA Cup, with a semi-final against championship side Coventry City coming up on April 21st.